Chapter 70. Most of the calls for him were from many industry contacts with whom he had built relationships over the decades. A few wanted to take the piss out of his photo in the paper, referencing Gordon Gecko in a sea view that screamed semi-retirement. The Kingmaker. That was a bad joke among a few old friends, but they'd run with it as the headline. Amy had reminded him that no publicity was bad publicity. The article tweaked his brain cells. He was desperate to get back to it and his strength had returned. I fancy logging on for a bit. Can you get me the laptop so I can touch base with things? I think I've finished Netflix. Dad, the doctor said no. I've kept my eye on things and there's nothing that needs your attention. It's okay. Please don't worry. Amy had hidden the technology and continued moving it from place to place knowing her dad would finally try to find it. Such was his stubbornness. But by the third day, Amy finally relented and offered to turn on his phone and pick up the messages for him. There's a few messages on here from Rachel. I'll listen to them. Can you play them? It'll be nice to hear her voice. She put the phone onto speaker and played the three weeks of messages. God knows how many text and WhatsApp messages were there to troll through. Hello again, Steve. Rachel. Sorry you're not well and I don't want to bother you, but there was an email that I'm not sure about. It was unusual. From someone called... Let me look again. Someone called Isla. Steve sat bolt upright. Please give me my phone, Amy. I need to see this email. Dad, no. Amy, please give me the phone. This is not work. This is very personal. Amy suddenly remembered the name. Her dad had mentioned Isla several times down the years and could see from the look on his face that it was important to him. She passed the phone over and left the room, wondering how much she still didn't know. Steve looked at the hundreds of unread emails in his inbox. He searched for her name and found the mail. Nearly two decades had gone by without a word from her, but just the name Isla summoned up an exhilaration he had not felt in so long. Good God, it really had been nearly 20 years. Wow, that girl, she still gets me every time. He read the message and quickly typed a response to the woman who evidently still held a place in his mind. It was not just affection he had for her, there was also the regret. WTF, Isla, I'm still alive and kicking, just. Are you okay? This is a surprise. Want to chat? Steve pressed send. 90 miles away, Isla's email alert popped up, prompting a tearful outburst. This time they were tears of happiness. She had found him, and he clearly had no issue with being found.